Thank you. <laughs> uh, Otik, can you uh, run us through the changes, uh, the introduction of Mula S and Ian Kronova? And uh, I'm seeing that uh, Jambe Rudolph is not on your team. Can you tell us about it? I just think uh, we brought in a couple of youngsters, especially in the pack. Uh, we we want a new energy there, and I think they will bring the energy as guys that was knocking on the door uh, for the whole preseason, and this is an opportunity to show what they can do. Uh, Manuel Bok is also getting his start, uh, and uh, we really hope to he will bring something different to the back line. Yeah, and um, just did the back um, duo work for you last week with uh, Jean Louis Rudolph? But oh, I just I just thought that we were physically outplayed. It was not one guy that. It was not one guy's fault. I think they really have played us physical and physically, and uh, and, and uh, I, I thought this changes was necessary for this week. And that's just from my side. Uh, what do you expect then uh, to do differently to, to get over the line of the next game? <laughs> I, I, as I said previously, I think the first three games we were really unlucky not to get a win at one of that three games last week we outplayed and we accept that we take it in the chin but uh, we need a win I mean especially before we went on tour on, on Monday so uh, I, I, I know there's a, there's a good vibe and there's still a good spirit in the team uh, and, I, and and Trevor will, will, will also say that the, the youngsters bring something different uh, to the party Trevor, uh, sorry Trevor um, Quitter mentioned that um, for three games you were you guys were pretty much in it um, and that is just sometimes a small adjustment that needs to be made to get you over the line. Is it is it sometimes really just as simple as a just a switch or one moment of inspiration just to get you that last five percent actually to get the win in the column? Yeah, definitely. I feel as like as you say, coach said uh, <coughs> for some of uh, the other three games we were actually in it, and uh, it's uh, it's actually I would say a mental switch at times because uh, it was because of the soft moments that. Uh, we wouldn't manage. We didn't manage to 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 win those games. And uh, about us just being very clinical. And when we, because at times we did, we do create a lot of opportunities. And uh, it's all about that when we do create those opportunities, we we convert them into points. So uh, I think it's it's uh, it's something that we would be we trying to work hard on now. And uh, I think if if it clicks, then uh, we should be able to go on a good run. Quite a mother icing faced you in the preseason. Are you happy to give him a go? No, definitely. I mean, he deserves it. I mean, I said previously in the press conference that uh, it's going to be difficult to to leave him out. Uh, unfortunately for him, he, he had a bad cut on his forehead uh, in the first uh, uh, friendly game. So, uh, but he's ready now to go, and I'm really looking forward. He's very excited uh, to get his first uh, Super Super Rugby cap, and uh, uh, he will be special. I I know he will be a special player for the Bulls. Uh, for many years. But you had Sauer on the part after Ferris and Robert Williams were doing the counts up in Christ. Um of all the room felt by your by your man to suck that if you have the cellar personnel. Um is it a question for um communication of the scar but the better spirits is or it was ma it was an office yesterday was the two the best out now say arm could be in the world be a carry that um now need not in West it's from Ito Hide is verkeerd to do me. Hij heeft ook niks spe speciaals gedaan, maar ik uh, denk dat we nog een kans. Uh, en ik denk uh, dat was dat was wel fout op die verdediging. Uh, je weet maar uh, Johnny Coach was briljant op die aanval. Je weet zo, so, dat moet net dat moet net alles met elkaar komen. En ik denk met Mani daar zal ons dat meer raak bij zien zaterdag in 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 met actie er eigenlijk uit. Dus ze klom zo succes, ze klom jong ook iets. Wat gebeurt die verliezen is voorbij. Ons kan niks aan veranderen. Die ons focus op zaterdag en ons zal het zal voor ons ook geloofelijk pijn betekenen om een winnaar te tellen. In in met de winnaar bij vliegtuig te klimmen. Want ik was al met de span, wat voor zie als je als je met de vloer op je vliegtuig klimt, is, is het hard. Je weet maar als voor de jongens zelf het trouwens erbij wat met bij betekenen om om met de benen op je vliegtuig te klimmen. En goed, uh, wat eigenlijk is dat nu een dit activation in jouw After last week everything, uh, as I said it <laughs> after the after the press conference on Saturday, but uh, I just I just think we need some more uh, some energy and uh, that's why the youngsters are there. Uh, uh, we had a great week again, but th that counts for nothing. Is what counts is on Saturday on the field. Is the cinema in this span still scattered in the rugby side? Or are the top of the island is really good? What is the choice? Is it you know here then by all? For sure, all the really good things. They have all the good things. They have all the good things. They make it easier. They make it for themselves easier. They make it more comfortable to choose.
Ik moet net terug bij um, by Miller. Ik weet, ek weet Afrik is wel niet het weinig um, jong spelers vergelijk met andere spelers niet, maar met Miller is het meer van een, van een, ek wil amper sê, keis, dat hij een beetje meer van een fysiekheid, amper soos een Dwayne Vermeulen bring in plaas van het weinige link spelers soos een Whiteley of een Notche. Ik denk dat is een baie slim speler, hy goeie hart op baie baie goeie lijne, jy weet, en hy, en hy kom op die plekke waar hy moet wees, en hij is een goeie verdediger, en nou ja, hy is fysisch, jy weet, maar dit is niet te sê, Johnny Rule was die fysisch nie, jy weet, ek denk net redig, hy, hy verdien een kans, hy, hy het lang niet hier geklop, hy was ongelukkig met die besering, en, en ek, ek weet, hy is baie opgewone. En jy moet ek ook nogal redelijk chaf wees dat, dat jy uh, amper soort van een hidden gem in een groene wald kon en bring ek mee, hy kom van Kimberley af, hy het een maatjes pedigree gehad, maar nou het hy het eindelijk een kans begroot as thuis. Ja, ek denk van het hy aangekom het hy net beter en beter geraak, jy weet, vooral in die, hy het baie beste, of vriendskapelijke beste, vir die Super Bowl Challenge gespeel, en uh, hy het redelijk sy merk gemaakt en gewees, hy is een workhorse, en, uh, en ek weet, hy gaan, hy gaan alles geest halen, hy sal sy leven geef vir die blauw, ek, ek weet het. Goed, dit is bykie die van een verrassing, al twee slotte is een paar ons, maar dat is nie iedereen toen ek tal gehaal nie, um, sal mys kan sê, was uitgelaat, of? Nee, ek, ek versie, ek, ek geef die jongs, die jongs jong, jong, geleentheid, jy weet, ek, 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 ek voet, ek ons soek meer spoed, ons wil een vinnige wezenheid speel, en ek denk die, dis, dis ek om ek die jongs ons speel, is nie te sê, ek het, ek het vir die andere en vir Andries afgeskryf nie, jy weet, hulle, Andries, al twee van hulle werk baie hard, hulle het, hulle het, hulle het baie goed gevat, en, en, en hulle het gesel, is, hulle gaan hard werk om terug te kom. Sorry? I was the first one must win a, a, a game, my friend, and then we can think about that. Uh, at this stage, we focus on, on, on game by game, and uh, as I said, Saturday is for us like a final. Uh, we need to win at Loftus, especially for our fans. I think the fans must be very disappointed in the in our results to be last on the lock every time you put on the TV. The boost is the last on the lock. It's not good for us, and, and, and that hurts, and uh, that hurts the players. So... Uh, we are on a mission to, to rectify that. Uh, ons het verleden een baie goeie OCC tour gehad, het die ouwens het daar nog nader in mekaar gekom, maar ek moet sê op die oomblik is die hele, die hele groep uh, ondersteun die ouwens wat gekies word, ons het volgende oefening gehad en na die tijd vir allemaal gesê, dankie vir julle ges- gesintheid, die weet, het was allemaal wil hy die bille moet goed doen, dit is nie dat ons daar sit en hierdie ouw kritiseer die ouwe omdat hy nie in die span is nie, die ouwens is redig op, 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 Um, coach mentioned on Saturday after the game that uh, Bagot physically dominated. Um, why do you think that happened? And it's obviously Matt Reggie, the guys want to rectify this weekend. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, we all know that the Jaguars are a formidable side. They they thrive themselves on uh, on on the way they play with their forwards. And uh, I think I think we we didn't pitch on on Saturday. We let the coaches down. We let the management down. We let the the union down. We let our fans down. So uh, I think uh, we, we, we need to, the forwards especially, need to step it up on our physicality. Uh, I'm talking about when it comes to defense attack. I mean, we gave them, I think we gave them too much uh, quick ball and too much momentum. And uh, it's something that hurt us at the end of the day. So uh, we, we, we looked hard at ourselves and uh, we, we saw where, where we, could, we could try and change things and, uh, and impose ourselves in the game. So I think uh, this coming weekend uh, to rectify something like that, we're definitely going to have to be very physical and uh, we're going to have to climb in when it's, whether it's a mall or a scrum. So uh, it's something that we identify, it's something that we know we've done wrong and we messed up. Us as players, there's nothing to do with the coaches at that time. When it comes to physicality, as a player, you just have to pitch. A coach can push you to be physical. So uh, we, we looked hard at ourselves and uh, that's one, one, one aspect of the game that we want to rectify this coming weekend. Trevor, there's been a there's been a tendency for a couple of years now, but it seems to have intensified this year, that away teams are becoming far more comfortable actually performing at their opponents' um, stadiums. You've been <coughs> a Super Rugby veteran for some time now, and you've played in teams that all that have also performed quite well away from home. Um, is that? Do you think it's because the the competition is just becoming more competitive, or are certain home stadiums for teams just losing their aura and stuff? Why do you think? Um, 
teams in general this year are struggling to actually win at home. Yeah, you know, the thing is, every time every time you play, you play a team at their place, They, they, they it seems like there's more pressure on them because it's their place, they have to win, and it's, and all of those things. And when teams travel to, to different uh, venues to go play, you want to express yourself, and uh, it, you have that type of, I've got nothing to lose, and mostly people don't expect us to win in any ways. But that, with that, you get to switch that now you just want to play rugby. You start enjoying it, and you start having fun. And I think teams are most, are most, are most dangerous when they start having a good time on the field, and they start enjoying themselves, and there's not that much pressure on them. So I think that's, that plays a very uh, big uh, role in it. And I suppose as a leadership group, you guys must be wary of that with the Highlanders coming. Yes, definitely. We know that they they enjoy they enjoy their quick ball. They enjoy outflanking teams. They they like fast and they want they want to like fast rugby and keeping ball in play. And uh, we know we know that's what they, they they're gonna be bringing here at, at Loftus. But uh, with that being said, we also know what we need to do to be able to counter that and make it a bit more uncomfortable for them. And uh, in in reality, if you if you if you look at it, uh, I would say even when I was at the Cheetahs, you feared to come play at Loftus. It was a very tough place to come play, and uh, we need to try and bring that back because uh, I feel like uh, teams sometimes are a bit more comfortable now, and they feel like they do stand a chance. And uh, so we we need to rectify that. We need to bring it back, and we need to 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 let teams know that when they come to Loftus, it's not just a, a walk in the park or an easy four or five points you can get. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 very it's very challenging, but uh, it's also it's also a great challenge if you ask me. And uh, with with guys like Malo as you know, they've got a good head above their shoulders. And uh, all all we need to do right now as as leadership group is just to keep them calm and take a little bit of pressure off them and let them express themselves. I mean, coach chose them for a reason. It means they can play rugby, and you need to you need to allow them to express themselves. We can't go catch them in a cage and say this is what you have to do this you can't do this they need to express themselves they need to find themselves in in the team and, and understand super rugby so for us as a leadership group uh we need to we need to we need to take a whole lot of pressure off them and let them understand that they're good enough to be here they just need to go out there and perform it's just to a, another rugby game and uh it's it's amazing to to see how they react to that when you give them a little bit of freedom and let them know that uh, they 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 well within the side and they just need to go out there and perform. And uh, guys like Miller, as you as you mentioned him, I think is is a great player. He's a leader within himself. But obviously, uh, it's gonna come with time. It's gonna be his first Super Rugby proper tournament. So I hope uh, he's gonna enjoy himself. And the guys are just gonna go out there and express themselves for a change. Coach Trevor, um, I want to start on a positive note. I give it to the Bulls. <coughs> the Bulls were Saturday by 12 to 15 uh, points. Uh, um, Two areas of concern, though. Quote is specific. The bullets are unvermoed to be open in the verdedigingslijn to be a drink. There is no one to drink in the world in one country. And then look at us now, last night, we have a great hoor straks optelling against us. Is it a great Is it discipline? Is it a geval of a scheidsrechter interpretation of consequences? Ja, ik denk niet. Die is keizerrecht en niet. Ons het ons kijk bij hard naar onszelf en zijn discipline. Je weet, om een kant te gaan, is niet keizerrecht is een probleem meer. Om je handen niet raak te steken, kun je niet moet die. Dus niet is keizerrecht is schuld niet. Zo het niet wat ons ons werk bij hard dan en één ons het weer eens hier weer bij hard gewerkt om 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 plannen te maken om die lijn te komen als ons aan de aan de tweede wedstrijd komt. Dat wordt hij. No, we 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 know he had a contract in Japan. He uh, but he loves it. The Bulls last year had a great contribution with all of us here. I learned a lot from him. I think all the players learned a lot from him. So it's awesome to have him back. I think he will be with the box for the, when he arrived here in June. So we'll have him for Super Rugby next year, and that's awesome. I mean, uh, experience you can't you can't you can't buy, and and uh, he will bring a lot to the, back to this to this union. Have you been missing a player like him? <laughs> the, we lost. Ten world-class players. Uh, let's let's be honest. But I I still got confidence in those guys, uh, and the youngsters is coming come in to 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 turn the thing around. But 
finally um tim 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 agaba and abongi men go to an away in the goals 15 last week against bath what do you what do you think they ought to do to be able to force their way into i just think uh abo must get his work rate up again i, I mean i and, and, and his, his, his physicality tim unfortunately got a neck injury uh that was it was long no, it was uh, off, uh, off the field for a long time with that and he injured it again so he's seeing the specialist over this weekend and we really hope it's not too bad but we're really concerned about his neck neck injury at this stage there was coming was one of your better aspects up till now um how you got two young inexperienced new locks will anything change do you think they will keep up yeah, actually, <laughs> in all honesty, um, I really, I really, I really enjoy the way the way they they, they put in the yards, the hard work, and uh, I li- what I like about them is uh, they, they 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 open to learning, and they 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 listen when you t- when you tell them something, which uh, sometimes you it's difficult to get with 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 senior players, but because uh, obviously they've been there, they've done it, and they know exactly what they're doing. But uh, with those, with those two, very young, but very, very much of hard workers, and which, which we we enjoy and which we we, we want, and we obviously we're playing against a team that's gonna be running around, and uh, those two are very mobile. They they, they get around the park. Uh, they make their tackles. They can get physical when need be. So uh, it's gonna be it's it's a, it's a change. But uh, obviously we did our scrums yesterday and uh, and today, and uh, it actually felt very great to have them. To have them behind us as as as, as a pair of blocks, so uh, it's going to be up to me and Lizo and and Yaku just to just to make things easier for them and uh, and try our best to dominate the scrums. And I think if if we can get that aspect right, that's when we're going to see, especially those two locks get more around the field and and add on more contributions. So uh, it's a it's a it's a different one for us. But uh, as I said, I think I said it last week that Coach Dan always swaps us around so that you can get to scrum with this guy and you get to scrum with different guys in, in different positions and uh, so they fit in properly like a, a glove and uh, I'm excited to see what they're going to produce this weekend and, uh, you, you talk, what does it mean to you as a leader and the team captain the what the talk yes uh, I've, I've been on, on 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 a few tours some were great some weren't great and uh a tour, a tour like like this, and the way things are going now. I mean, if you pick up uh, a win or two overseas, it 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 boosts the whole morale of the squad. It boosts the whole morale of the team, and uh, with that, people we start getting close. I mean, we're gonna be out there just by ourselves, and we need to we need to stick together. And uh, a win a win overseas and things like that can can bring the whole group closer and bring back that belief that. Uh, if if we can do it so far away from home, there's no reason why when we get back home we can't we can't dish out beatings, and so it's gonna be it's gonna be very important as coach said to be able to go over with a with a victory and uh, go pick up a few points overseas, and it brings back that whole that whole belief in the guys that actually you know what we're not out of this we can still do this, and once you get that you get that right I think a team can go far. Baie gelukkig met hom, hy het sy huiswerk gedoen, ek was baie impress, ek het vir my goed gestuur, hy het terugkom, hy sê, dit is my plan, en ek vertrouw hom ten vol, ek denk rarig, uh, jylle gaan nog baie van die noorkeer sien. Ok, thank you very much. Thank you.